Thank you very much, distinguished Madam Constitutional Judge, Mr. President, Madam President, Deputy President, Ministerial Commissioner, uh, Mr. and Madam Professors, dear invited visitors, dear guests. The prison service uh, is what I am representing here today, and on behalf of the prison service, I want to thank you for this opportunity and for the invitation to convey our position on this prestigious occasion. Uh, the prison service is a, se a separated part of the judicial system. It's the closing accord, if you like. Uh, and there are special legislation uh, that defines uh, the criteria of our work. In addition, however, uh, the legislation also, uh, the criminal legislation, exerts a serious influence uh, on the practice of our work. And this can be quantified, and I will try to give you some numbers in the context of my presentation. As it was said, the to title of my presentation is the influence of uh, criminal policy on the prison system. Uh, the new criminal code clearly identifies stricter rules as opposed to the previous one, and this has resulted in a higher number of uh, detainees in our prisons and also longer term sentences that have been imposed and that are being served. The numbers, obviously, are influenced by external factors, including the pandemic, the migration pressure, as well as the high ratio of foreign detainees at the moment. Let me also mention uh, our need for innovation and what kind of innovation proposals we have. So this is what my presentation will be about. Let us first see the evolution of the number of detainees in the Hungarian prison system. Compared to the period up until 2016, the prison population has been increasing on a continuous basis, uh, and uh, it was due to the high number of condemned individuals. Uh, in the four-year period until 2020, we have seen a declining number of prison population. However, uh, there was also a decline in the number of people arrested over the course of these four years. Uh, 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 the, these numbers declined by over 20 percent. Uh, uh, after 2020, however, once again, we have seen an increase in the number of prison population that has been unprecedented until that year. The first year of 2020 uh, uh, is taken into consideration. Uh, and. Uh, 3,466 people were added to the population, and 62% of these detainees are, uh, in, in one way or another, associated with human smuggling. The number of uh, the arrested uh, people has also increased significantly. Over 90% uh, of the persons concerned are not Hungarian citizens. I will talk about it at a later point in my presentation in more detail, but let's now see see uh, the practice of adjudication. As a result of our IT developments uh, from uh, se since 2017, we have not only been executing but also interpreting the sentences imposed. As a result of this, uh, we are able to provide useful information to the legislator, and we are able to measure the impact of the new legal norms on the prison population. And uh, this was justified by the uh, introduction of the three strikes policy because it was to be predicted that uh, more sentences will be imposed as a result of which the detainee population will increase. However, until 2016, we were not able to measure these numbers effectively. Um, it is especially the medium and high security prison population that increased significantly. In the medium security prison, the additional length is four months. And on the other hand, 
In the light security prison, the length of uh, sentences has decreased. With the exception of the year 2021, the year of the pandemic, when uh, fewer sentences were passed, uh, we can now observe that high secu security prison sentences have been increasing in the recent past, whereas light security prison sentences were halved in the same period. As you could see over the past four years, uh, uh, detainees in high security prisons and detainees in strict regime or high security risk or in all of them together, we have seen an increase in the number of the population. The ratio in high security prison increased by 4% and those in a strict regime increased by 40%. 62% was the increase observed uh, uh, in the high risk uh, category. And those who were uh, put into all of these categories, uh, in, the, in this category, we have seen 72% as an increase. This is also due to the sentences imposed. At the moment, uh, 1,915 people are serving a sentence that is at least 10 years or even longer. And this prison population is extremely significant. According to uh, Act 108 uh, to 220, release on in parole uh, is an institution uh, with uh, more strict conditions. And uh, the amendment was intended to punish the crimes, uh, including homicide, etc., uh, and other uh, serious uh, criminal offenses. Uh, so that the punishment uh, of these people who commit such serious uh, crimes should not be allowed to be released on parole. And um, there were three consecutive cases, I am uh, saying this to our guests, in which uh, the uh, detainees uh, who were released on parole uh, committed the very same crime again uh, while they were on parole for which they had been sentenced in the first place. And uh, as a result, most recently, the number of people on uh, 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 parole has declined significantly. However, uh, probation is an institution that is becoming more and more popular uh, with the judges. And the more and more frequently, we can see that they are asking for the preparation of a psychologist's expert opinion. And uh, these more, uh, stricter pieces regulations resulted uh, in a generally stricter uh, adjudication, and we have seen this since 2020. And now I would like to go to the other extreme. As a result of the new criminal code in 2013, uh, the number of uh, people in actual life imprisonment increased from 25 to 46 over a matter of one year. As you can see, their number doubled. And this was in 2013. Uh, the life imprisonment is the most serious sanction that can be imposed. And it happens when uh, a perpetrator commits a, a crime against human life. And their placement is special not only because of the length of the sentence, but their uh, temperament uh, can be said to be quite violent. And uh, uh, therefore, they are kept uh, in a separated uh, way, manner from other detainees. Those who are sentenced to actual imprisonment uh, uh, represent uh, in uh, so 6% 6 of these people were admitted to our institutions after uh, 2013. And there is one woman among them. And uh, the rest are men. And uh, they are placed in eight different institutions. And two have been sentenced with a non-definitive judgment. I mentioned the non-Hungarian citizens out of the 76 people. Uh, 11 are citizens of other countries than Hungary. In addition to homicide, uh, we can also see human smuggling, uh, abuse of firearms, uh, uh, crimes against humanity, and torture of animals. All are included among their crimes. 
So out of the 76 people, 16 people are violent uh, repeat offenders. And in their case, uh, uh, it is the violence uh, that uh, resulted in the life imprisonment. And it is important that the release on parole uh, regulation was changed. And 13 people are uh, repeat offenders who, however, do not qualify as recidivists, and they are also serving an actual life sentence. So why have I focused on these people who have received life imprisonment? I would like to uh, tell you a few thoughts concerning their management, their handling. The prison service wishes to reintegrate these detainees, and as a result, we operate special units. For example, we have a special unit need for long-term sentence holders, people with at least 15 years of imprisonment up to life imprisonment. Uh, these people require special management. Uh, in the case of uh, people with actual life imprisonment, the primary objective is not their reintegration into society, but uh, to help them integrate into the prison population. As a result, this unit has to be worked out in such a way that it be fully separated from the other parts of the buildings and from the other units in the prison. Uh, these uh, are violent people, and they typically commit uh, anti-life uh, crimes, and their management <coughs> poses continuous challenges to our staff. In view of all these circumstances, the capacity uh, uh, must be increased uh, with regard to the future. We have to have more places. Uh, the long-term special units, uh, therefore, as I said, have increasing capacity needs. and. Uh, as uh, I have uh, presented, we have seen a continuous growth in their number, but we must also reckon with what is called the radicalization risk of our detainees. This new phenomenon uh, can be deducted from the increasing number of non-Hungarian citizens, and this poses risks that we have not been confronted with before. So various bulwarks and other security uh, security installations have to be uh, installed, and we must build uh, new prisons uh, uh, in order to properly place these people, prisons, buildings that meet these high security requirements. So I have now explained to you that we have this need, and I hope I will not spoil the show in this birthday celebration uh, when I also share my own private ideas with you. Uh, I believe that we need to act in an innovative manner if we actually really want to rise to these challenges. And um, the Chemegi Code uh, was, uh, was pioneering in introducing these three security levels of prisons. However, in order to achieve the goals uh, of uh, punishment, I believe it is necessary that these uh, ranks of prisons uh, should no, no longer be considered as all-encompassing or determining everything. Instead, uh, in line with Article 79, we have to focus on the protection of society and on deterrence from uh, committing crime in the future. And the staff of the prison service has uh, changed significantly. We now have uh, our own professional university education. We have psychiatric uh, treatment, uh, and uh, we are employing a large number of colleagues with uh, various university degrees that are not strictly related to the prison service. A new systems of institutions were created in the past with the dedicated task of getting to know uh, the detainees and to work out methodologies for that purpose, to put to use the information that is already available, and uh, to set up a national centralized center for pursuing these activities. We hope that uh, with the help of these methodological innovative developments, we will be able to design a new system of ranking uh, of seriousness whereby we will be able to reform uh, the three-gear prison system in the interest of protecting the interests of society. 
the reform of the three-gear prison system is one goal, therefore, that we have. But on the other hand, we have to facilitate the cooperation uh, and the achievement of merits among uh, detainees so that within the walls of prisons, various benefits should be accomplished. And they would not only mean various rights, but uh, they would also mean uh, goals that can be, can be attained and even lost by the detainees. All this in order to more efficiently achieve the goals of the sentences that are imposed by the courts. Thank you very much.